Hey guys, I hope you're all doing super well and you're all having amazing days no matter where you are in the world. So, I guess it's kind of ironic that I'm filming this video during one of the craziest and most stressful weeks of my entire college experience. But I guess I hope you guys can find this as helpful as I find it at the moment because I'm so stressed out, you guys, you have no idea. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a few tips on how I like to kind of relax and refresh and kind of recharge after a really crazy day or a really crazy week. I guess you could also call it a kind of get unready with me kind of video because I'm kind of showing you how I get unready after a really long day, but it's basically just how I relax after a crazy week. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with my first tip. So my first tip is to exercise. And I know it's kind of weird because a lot of people, myself included, feel like they don't have enough time to exercise, especially if you're really stressed and have a lot of stuff going on. It can be hard to make time for exercise, but I feel like it's really important, not only just for your body, but also for your mind, because it does help you kind of release tension, not only in your body, but also like release stress that's been piling up in your head for a while. If you don't like exercising, what I recommend you do and what I like doing is to take walks, especially when the sun is setting. I like to call them my sunset walks. Not only do you get in like a fun little while of exercise, but also I feel like it connects you with nature. And for some reason, every time I close my laptop, put my books away, put my phone away, go outside and take a walk, I feel more in tune with nature and I feel less stressed. I don't know what it is about it, maybe it's the exercise, maybe it's the fact that I get to like put everything away and remind myself how beautiful Earth actually is and how big the world is and how small our problems are in comparison to how large and how magnificent nature is. And I'm getting a little bit deep and cheesy here, but I feel like it's true. It's definitely something that happens to me. If I'm feeling stressed, I like to go outside and get a little bit of fresh air and kind of just admire the beauty of nature and it makes me feel so, so much better. So tip number two, and I love tip number two, it's to take time for yourself and it may seem obvious, but sometimes Sometimes we forget to kind of stop at the end of a long day and do things that we actually enjoy doing and it's really important to have time for yourself you know it's a very sort of person to person but what I like doing is I like giving myself mani pedis I like face masks I like listening to my favorite music and kind of just listening to soothing nature sounds I have a weird app on my phone for that but it's actually really good Basically just find something that you enjoy doing and something that you can do at the end of a long day and you enjoy doing. I feel like it's really important to clear your mind, stop stressing about little things that happen during the day and just enjoy that one kind of hobby or activity that you like doing and do it every single time you feel stressed and I promise you'll feel so, so much better. So tip number three is actually kind of related to tip number two. It's to take warm showers or warm baths. I don't have a bathtub, which is actually really tragic, so I can only take warm showers, but there's something about warm water that is very, very calming. It's weird, but it's true. And also kind of stock up your shower with your favorite scents because there's something about like scents that also calms me. So if you like vanilla, buy vanilla scented products, or if you like orange scented products or lavender is a really good scent for relaxing, just stock up on products that you like how they smell because the combination of like warm water and a really nice soothing scent is amazing. So tip number four is to drink some warm tea if you're feeling stressed or a warm soothing beverage whatever your choice is but I definitely love tea I've been getting into it lately I usually have it iced but if I want a kind of soothing beverage I'll definitely have it warm whether it's a nice chamomile tea or whether it's a nice dairy mate tea like an energizing tea whatever it is if you drink a nice warm tea I guarantee you will definitely automatically feel relaxed Next tip is to make your living space as relaxing as possible. This is probably really weird, but if my room is a mess, I feel like my life is a mess and I start freaking out. So every night before I go to bed, I light up a couple candles, which by the way, something about having candles, I have candles back there, even if you can't see them, they're on. Something about just lighting up candles, I don't know if it's the scent, I don't know if it's like the ambiance of having flickering light, but something about candles just really relaxes me, it's weird. Anyways, after I light my candles, I like to kind of tidy up my room, because like I said, if my room is a mess, I'll start freaking out. So it may be weird, but my tip is to keep your living area as tidy as possible. I feel like a clean, kind of clean space, 
will keep your mind kind of clear as well. That was probably a really bad explanation, but basically a clear living space equals a clear mind in my book. I don't know if that will work for you guys, but it definitely works for me, so I wanted to share that with you. So my last tip is probably my favorite tip of all. It's to keep a gratitude notebook or a log of positive things that happened to you during the day or good things that made you happy that happened during that day, something along those lines. Basically, I keep I was gonna show you my notebook, but I dropped it. I keep a notebook with me at all times and I try to write in it every night, kind of little memories that I wanna remember about that day or things that happened that made me happy. Basically just write every night, try to write what you're grateful for that happened that day. I really like kind of trying to be positive all the time and sometimes it's hard to remember the positive things if you're kind of really stressed all the time, but it's nice to kind of remind yourself every night of the good things that happen because I feel like good things kind of always cancel out the bad things so it's nice to end your day kind of reminding yourself of the good things that happened rather than thinking of all the bad things and just stressing yourself out even more so before I go to bed I like to write in my gratitude notebook and it's kind of a way for me to unwind before I'm actually ready to go to sleep. So instead of having like all these crazy stressful thoughts in my head before I go to bed, I remember all the good things that happened and I kind of end my day on a positive note. So that definitely helps me unwind after a stressful day. So I'm not sure if I said that was my last tip, but if I did, I'm kind of lying because Speaking of gratitude, I wanted to share something else with you guys. So I'm pretty sure you noticed a lot of the products that I use during this video are actually fair trade and kind of artisan made and handmade products and I actually got them in a new subscription service. It's called the Globe Inbox and every month you get like a different set of products or articles that are actually handmade by people all around the world and I kind of relate this to the gratitude thing that I was talking about earlier because I feel like a large part of being positive is knowing that you're doing good and I really like the subscription service. I agreed to work with this company because I felt really passionate about their mission. Basically, they send products that are handmade by people in different regions of the world. People that you're actually supporting, you're supporting their families, you're supporting their development by buying these products. So I feel really passionate about it because not only are you getting good products, but you're also helping other people out and there's nothing more satisfying than helping, in my opinion. Knowing that I'm helping other people actually makes me so so happy so anyways I kind of wanted to share with you guys what's in this box so you get a little information packet about everything that you get in here and I actually showed you a lot of these products so I'm gonna go through them as fast as I can they all come in this cute little basket and this basket is actually handmade in Mexico it's made in Oaxaca is that how you pronounce it Oaxaca I don't even know I'm a bad Hispanic it's literally weaved by hand out of palms in Mexico so once you open it, you can find all the other products inside. I actually don't have one here. It's a washcloth. I have it in my shower. I've been using it and I thought it'd be gross if I brought it back. But basically, it's handmade in Bangladesh by Rural, 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 I can't talk, Rural, 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 how do you say that? Rural, 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 oh my god, I can't say it, Rural. It's made by women in Bangladesh and they depend on their crafting income to make ends meet. So again, I feel like it's really special that by buying these products you're helping other people develop and kind of just grow as human beings as well. So anyways, the next product in here is actually this cute little candle that I did not have the heart to burn. Like I was going to turn it on for the video for you guys, but I didn't have the heart to because it's just so cute. And this is actually hand painted. That's also really crazy to me. It's amazing how all these artisans around the world make all these things and we don't really hear about them at all. So basically it says that it's handmade in South Africa and they literally work together in their village within the community. They form the candle and then they paint it themselves. Like this candle is made by hand. I'm gonna cherish this candle forever. I love it. So next up in here, I have some tea and this is Guayaki brand yerba mate tea and I've tried yerba mate before it's pretty strong it makes you kind of hyper because it has a lot of caffeine so this is different flavors I believe this is called pure empowerment this is traditional and this is a greener green tea I've tried this before and I definitely love mate tea so I'm really excited to try that out and then up next in here I have a few more things. So this is a Shea and Virgin Coconut Enriching Shampoo and I already tried this out. It's really good. I actually went to bed with wet hair last night 
And this is what my hair looks like today. So it's really good shampoo. So this is handmade in Togo, West Africa. And then it says, the Tonganese women are commonly illiterate and unemployable. So Lafia, and that's the company that makes this shampoo. It supports their education initiatives and it also helps them make wages by using their shea butter production skills and making these products. It's actually really amazing. This makes me so happy because sometimes like, I feel like I waste money on things that I don't really need. And then it's like, if you are able to buy things that are actually helping other people out, it's really special to me. I really like this concept of this box. Anyways, there's one more thing left in here, and that's the Woman for Peace Olive Oil Soap, and this is made with dead sea mud. So basically, the entire company is led and kind of directed by women, and in the back it says, handcrafted by Sin Sindiana of Gaili. Arab and Jewish women working together. This is a really special cause to me for some reason. I just, I feel really passionate about these kind of things. Anyways, that was everything inside that little box. And that's basically it for this video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it and you found all these tips helpful. If you're gonna put them to use, make sure to leave me a big thumbs up down below. I send a million kisses your way. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you bunches. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.